of this protest is and why is it important? This protest is not as much as about vaccine. It's about the fact that they want to oblige us to get vaccinated. Even though some people already had COVID, went through it just fine, and somehow they want to zap us again. This is a matter of control. I come from communist Romania. I was six years old when the communists fell. And I sadly, I see this happening here in Canada right now. Ceausescu, when people came over to Bucharest, he fled. What did Justin Trudeau do? He fled. So many similarities. If Canadians unite, they can overturn this dictatorship that doesn't make sense anymore. In Quebec, I have two kids at home. I have nowhere to, 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 to go with them. Why is that so? Everywhere you go, you need a vaccine pass. My kids can only go to daycare or to school. They cannot visit their friends. Mm. Churches are closed. Mm. Well, what's this all about? It's all about control. Do you feel like the media's coverage of this rally has been fair and well represented? Oh, media. Mm. Woo! <laughs> if it wasn't for Facebook, we wouldn't have known about this event. We checked all the media channels, all the Canadian ones, they really like to, to throw bad stuff about this movement. Mm. It started as a truckers long for, for freedom and Canada should get behind them. It's not only vaccines, it's about government taking over our lives. Mm. It's been two years now, enough is enough. Media doesn't tell the truth anymore. Mm. So whoever controls the media controls the population. Mm. And it's sad. Trudeau made a comment that all the participants, or most of the participants of participating in this rally are racist and misogynistic. How do you feel about Trudeau's comments? <laughs> Trudeau should grow up. <laughs> Have you experienced any type of, or heard any messages that were racist or misogynistic while you were at this event? Not at all. Not at all. No. Right, there you have it. There we have it. Well, thank you thank so you much. So thank you so much. Thank you, thank you so bless much. Canada. Yes, God bless. All the best to you and your family. Thank right. you. We thank gotta you. stand up for our children, our rights. We want our kids to have a future better than we had. Right. And the way that we're heading doesn't seem like it's gonna be like that. Nobody should decide what medicine goes into your body. You should be, if you're scared and you need it, get it. Right. But you should never be told you need to get it. If the you truth is not being told by the media. They're not speaking the truth at all. Because when you look at independent media outlets, on YouTube, or even Twitter, or mm. other Telegram, or, or other uh, social media, there's like 50 other thousand doctors mm. that are being suppressed. Mm. People with MDs, medical degrees, right. all of a sudden now they're just conspiracy theories. There's something else going on here. Mm. In my research and I've seen that as a kind of something that's gonna go, yeah, we have to, we have to do something. Peaceful protest is the only way to go. How do you feel about Trudeau's comments about the participants of this rally being racist, misogynist? I haven't seen any racist person. You can have you could have a few bad apples that have their own agendas in their heads, but it doesn't take away from all the other nice people. I mean this you walk down every every street, you see nice people giving out food. Conversating with you nicely, asking mm. my opinion like you ask people for my opinion. Mm. People just want to listen and people just want to be heard. Mm. They just want to be heard. Mm. And I don't think the Trudeau government is listening to it. He needs to find the definition of what racism is. I don't know if when you have multiple um, multicultural people mm. on the road saying the same thing, then where is the race? Who is being racist against who? Mm. This is a rally with people with. Uh, triple vaccines in their bodies, mm. as well as the ones that are not having it at all. Mm. Yeah. Thomas was such a divider. Mm. It just sounded like he's looking for division. Mm. That's not a leader. Mm. You don't divide. Mm. I can show you a video of him a few years ago talking about like, this is a free land, this is a free country, this is freedom of choice, and you get to choose what you put, what you do with your body. Mm. What happened to that too, though? What happened? Well, thank you guys so much yeah. for talking. Thank, with you, thank you so, so, so thank much. You for Hearing our voices yeah. and yeah. good luck with your vlog. Yeah, uh, really appreciate it. Thank you so, so much. What do you believe the purpose of this protest is and why is it important? The purpose is to end all mandates. People keep saying it's an anti vax 
or the truckers are doing it for themselves, but I don't believe that they are. I'm totally against the mandates. I'm educated, but I've been deemed uneducated because of my beliefs. Mm. I read science journals. I can see what's going on in Europe. I can see what's going on in Israel. To call me uneducated mm. and anti-science is an insult to me as an individual. Mm. And that's how it is being portrayed, is that people who don't believe the narrative are imbeciles, idiots, don't know a thing, and we need Prime Minister Trudeau to lead and guide the imbeciles. And that's what I'm totally against. I've been against the mandates. I have kids. They're going to drown before they ever die of COVID. Same with me. In my age group, I have the same risk of dying. I have more of a risk of dying of cancer or any other disease, heart and stroke, the risk of me dying as a healthy individual are slim, very slim. But the narrative is, if you don't take the third booster, you're gonna die, we're protecting you, and you are actually out trying to kill everyone else. Mm -hmm. So that is what we are here for to stand against. How do you feel about Justin Trudeau's comments of people who are participating in this protest being racist and misogynistic? It's, it's a tactic to attack people. It's a, it's a pure attack. He, he was voted in with, what, 35% of the vote. And he has to keep his position. And he knows he can't keep it for much longer. So what does he do? He goes into attack mode. England has stopped the mandates. Scotland has. Denmark has. BC is opening up. Saskatchewan is opening up. To, to sit here, not know me from Adam and Eve, and call me a racist, misogynistic, is just goes to show his character, not mine. Have you, at any point, while at this protest or rally, heard any messages or seen anybody who is displaying racism or misogyny? I've been here for five hours yesterday, mm -hmm. and I've been here for two or three today, and I've seen nothing. Mm -hmm. I see people of all different color. Mm -hmm. I see children from four. Obviously, their parents are bringing them, mm -hmm. but I see teenagers here. I see a whole mix of men and women. And I'm sure if you took a poll of who's educated and who's not, mm -hmm. the reasons why they're here, mm -hmm. and they'll all tell you the same, we are following the science. Mm -hmm. And your science is not adding up. I'm in math, I've taken accounting, and payroll, and your numbers mm -hmm. don't make any sense. When you look at the numbers and you see that 58, 60% of people who are dying mm -hmm. are over the age of 80. The highest number of people who have had COVID are maybe teenagers and in their 20s, but they have the smallest amount of deaths. So what is the point of locking down schools? What is the point of locking universities? What is the point of this? When the numbers themselves, I know how to read numbers, are showing me the opposite of what you are telling me. Back to your comment about misogynistic or racist, I've not seen it, personally. Seen Mr. Guys... Trudeau on blackface multiple times. Yeah, I can yes. That. You can search the internet all you want and look for me in blackface, you're not going to find it. You can hide behind your tweets. Again, it just goes to show your character, mm. not mine. Right. Yeah. And that's yeah. what people need to see. It's them promoting hate. Mm. Nobody here, I don't know, maybe you've seen it, maybe I you've seen, seen it, maybe seen you've seen it. Seen it. Show me hate here but among... Smiling faces, oh, yeah. high yeah. vibes. And, and yeah, it feels like Canada Day where we're all coming good together attitude. as Canadians. Right. The only time I've seen it is on mainstream media. Yeah. It's yeah. the only yeah. place that this, they take those three little incidences which are not acceptable at all. Mm. And we paint the whole group of us with the same brush. We're all looking at them. That's why we didn't want them here. They're idiots. They're nothing but troublemakers. They're racist. They're anti this. They're anti that. Mm. Come and talk to us. Right. We're not. I just want to be free. We're tired right. of this. The longest two weeks of my life. Mm. Thank you so, so Thank much you. for taking the time. Thank you. Yeah. That's what Thank we're, you. That's what we're here Thank to do. Thank you. Talk to people on the street. Yes. Right. Thank care, you. Guys. It's important for our children, yeah. our future, our individual rights, our individual choices. The vaccine and the non-vaccine, it's important. It's the choice. 
vaccinated, vaccinated or not vaccinated. That's not what's important. This is about the freedom of choice. Well, the government doesn't have the right to force us to take something if we choose not to take it. You understand? It has to be our choice. And that choice has been taken away. They say, well, we're not forcing you, but if you don't take it, you cannot shop for your children, you cannot feed your children, you cannot, your children can't participate in any sports at school. <laughs> we're between a rock and a hard place. The future of the North Yeah, and we're doing, this for the, that's, we're doing this for the future of our children. Because if we don't fight for them now, we're saying it's okay for a future that they have no rights and mm -hmm. they can't choose or decide. How do you feel about Trudeau's comments about the participants of this rally being racist and misogynistic? <laughs> That's how he feels. <laughs> That's a funny comment, mm -hmm. and I don't understand where he would get that from, and how he would come to such conclusion in in what the movement is. Mm -hmm. That just shows goes to shows he's not paying attention. You know. Have we sensed racism? No, not at all. No, no, it's all love. It's it's like exactly. Bob Marley says, "One love," and this is really one love. Everybody here is just giving off the vibe of love and 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 participation. Tout ce que j'ai vu à travers ça, la ville, c'est des sourires, c'est des des gens. J'ai pas vu de racisme. J'ai pas. Je sais pas pourquoi Trudeau a dit ça. Everything he's seen is smiles. He hasn't seen that, and that's exactly the point of this, right? We want to show that. Right. What the government is saying is not aligned with what, aligning with what's with really what happening. Reality. With, exactly. yeah, with exactly. reality. Yeah, with reality. Thank you. Merci, merci. Bye. Thank you. Yeah, you guys from Ottawa? We're yeah. from Ottawa. We're yeah. born and we've grown here. Yeah. All right, so. Do you believe the purpose of this protest is and why is it important? We're trying to get our freedoms back. People are sick of uh, being told what to do and how to live, and we're sick of uh, right not being able to go to restaurants and to bars and theaters and things. I want to do based on uh, whether they have a shot or mm. I think a lot of it is uh, like what's next. Mm. I, I think that's why it's important is is if we let them get away with it, it'll never end, right? They'll, mm. they'll be able to get away with whatever they want. Do you feel like the media has been covering this protest fairly and uh, getting the message of this protest uh, out correctly? No. No. no, not the mainstream media anyway. Mm -hmm. Like I, 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 don't, I don't see, I don't see hatred on the streets. They're, they're, they're calling this a, a, a racist movement. I don't, yeah. I don't see that at all. I see people coming together. It's beautiful. It's great, mm -hmm. right? I, I, I think it's, I think it truly is bringing people together. And you do have that one percent, right, of people who are going to take advantage of a good thing and say mm -hmm. hurtful things, and mm -hmm. are, uh, and uh, that doesn't represent us, right? We're, we're not here to spread hatred. We're here to bring love, and, mm -hmm. and that's it. Have you experienced any type of? Uh, racist, misogynistic messages or people while you were here, while you were at the center? No. No, not yet. <laughs> have you? No. no, not at all. No, we not haven't. At all. That's but, good. But this is kind of why we wanted to come down here and just to talk to people and see what, what is actually going on because there's a lot of, like I said before, a lot of narratives. People were standing there talk, listening to speeches for a long time and mm -hmm. everybody was kind of one unit. There was no right. segregation at all. And, yeah, and they, they, they seem to be trying to make that very clear when they're up on the stage. Mm -hmm. hey, they they, 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 they want to, whether you're Islamic or you're a black Canadian or a white Canadian or mm -hmm. Asian or Middle East, whatever it might be, right? Mm -hmm. they, 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 want, you know, they want everybody to know that we're all in this together. So thank you guys so much. Thank Appreciate you so it. much. Hey, thank you. Yeah, thank, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Bye.